Hi everyone and welcome to or welcome back to Stitches Past Five. My name is Vera and today I'm going to show you how to make these adorable little stress ball plushy penguins. These are crocheted and they're relatively simple to make. So yeah, I have three and three different colors here. This cute little pink one with a pretty big beak, a cute small gray and black one, and then this blue one. You can see that they all kind of have like their own personality depending on like where you put the eyes, where you put the mouth, how big you make the mouth and I just think they're so cute. So I'm gonna give a step-by-step -step, uh, crochet tutorial for how to make your own little plushy um, stress ball penguin. So first let's go over the materials that you'll need. Um, to make this penguin you will need uh, some plushy yarn or you can use any yarn but to make it a plush animal you need some plushy yarn. I use this one by Hobie um, and you'll need that in three different colors. So actually I have my three colors here. I use the gray um, for the main body, so that'll be this part. Then I will, I'll use the white for the face and then I'll use the black for the head part here and for the feet as well. So you'll need three colors of plushy yarn or any other yarn of your choice. And then you'll need a corresponding crochet hook. So my yarn actually suggests a hook size of seven millimeter uh, when crocheting, but I actually use a five millimeter needle. So I'm sizing down two entire hook sizes, and that's essentially to get that nice tight um, stitch definition like you can see it here, because I don't really want any um, stuffing come out of the penguin at any time. Furthermore, you'll need two safety eyes, which I use these plastic ones here. I got these off of Amazon um, with backings, but if you don't have safety eyes, then you can also just use um, some yarn and uh, stitch that in afterwards. You'll also need a sewing needle to kind of finish off the ends and to sew on the feet at the end. If you want, you can use some safety glue to glue in the eyes from the back so they don't kind of come out. They're relatively small, so I do like using safety glue for these plushies. And then you'll need just some scissors to cut your yarn, as well as, this, uh, as well as a stitch marker to indicate where the beginning of your round is. So I'm gonna talk you through each step of the way of how to make these cute little penguins. Um, you do need to know how to do your single crochets and how to do your slip stitches, and I'll essentially try to talk through everything else. Um, I'll try to make it as descriptive as possible. Of course, feel free to pause at certain points, replay certain parts, um, and so on and so forth. But let's get started. Okay, so to start off with, you're gonna create a magic loop. So I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna take my two left fingers and wrap the end of the string around those like that, coming from the end. If you're left-handed and if you crochet with your left hand, like if you have the hook in your left hand, I recommend you take this video and flip it. Um, because I'm gonna give all the directions for right-handed crocheters. Um, okay, so now you have these two um, loops, if you will, on your fingers like this. You're gonna come in with your crochet hook underneath the first one, on top of the second one, pull the string through, twist up, and then take the yarn that's coming out the ball and bring that through. So you're essentially creating a magic loop. If you have your own method of doing that, go ahead and use that. Um, and into your magic loop, you're gonna take the end of it, the end of your, your string, and hold it with um, your loop on the left-hand side. So I like entering with my fingers like this. It makes it a lot easier, I find. You're gonna place six single crochets. You wanna make sure that these are nice and loose so that you can close your magic loop. So in here, as you would normally, you're gonna place six single crochets. So I can count here, one, two, three, four, five. I need one more, six, perfect. And then I'm gonna close that magic loop by pulling the end that's left. And then you should end up with this nice, cute little circle. It might not look like much right now, but that's fine. Okay. Now I'm gonna kind of wrap my string around my fingers as I normally would crocheting, and I'm gonna place an increase into each of those six single crochets. So the first one, I'm gonna go in, place my first single crochet, 
And then I'm actually going to place my stitch marker here. And I'm going to place another one in here. And go on all the way around, placing two single crochets into each stitch of that round. Then you should have 12 stitches in that round. Once you're back at your stitch marker. Okay, so that's where I'm at now. I have reached my stitch marker, so the next stitch I will go into is my stitch marker. I'm gonna take that out. And for the next round, so this is round three now, um, I'm gonna place one single crochet into the next single, uh, into the next stitch, and then an increase into the next one, and repeat that all the way around. So into the first one, I'm gonna go in with a single crochet. I'm gonna come back, place my stitch marker into the stitch I just created. And then do an increase into the next single crochet. Singular single crochet into the next stitch, increase into the next one, and do that the entire way around. Okay, so now I've reached the end of that round. You should have 18 single crochets in that round. Into the next round, we're actually already going to start with our color change. So make sure you have your face cutter color ready to go. Um, again, take out your stitch marker. And then you're going to do three single crochets into the next three stitches. Of course, same thing. Place your stitch marker into the first single crochet that you make. So that's my first one, two, three. Then I'm going to do an increase. So that means two single crochets into the same stitch. Then I'm going to do another three. So one, two, and into the third one, I'm going to stop right here. So after I've pulled through my yarn, when I have two loops on my hook, now I'm gonna go and switch colors to the face color. So to do that, just take the end of your face color and kind of like wrap it around your fingers as you would normally crocheting. Yarn over and pull through. Now you're gonna place an increase into the next stitch with that new face color. So here's my first one and I'm gonna place um, the second one into the same one. Again, stop when I have two stitches on my hook. I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to my head color. So I'm gonna pick up the one that's coming out of the yarn ball, just from my back here, and pull that one through here. Place three single crochets with your head color. Here's my third one. I'm gonna stop right here again, switch back to my face color, Pull that through, place an increase with my face color, switch before I pull the last yarn through. This just makes your color change a little bit neater. So there we go, switch back to my regular head color. And then I'm gonna single crochet another three, make sure you get this one, so it's like the one that's kind of hiding behind your increase, two, three, Oops. then I'm going to do an increase into the next stitch and single crochet until you hit your stitch marker again. Perfect. So now it looks like this. I have started my little head shape. Um, so these are essentially kind of like the outline of the eye up here, here and here. Okay, the next two rounds are work the same and essentially you're single crocheting the same turquoise or whatever your head color is up until your eye, then switch to eye color, single crochet until the end of the other eye, then switch to head color and single crochet back. So let's do that together. Take out your stitch marker, single crochet eight, 
your stitch marker into the first one, of course, again. That's my first one, so seven more. This one again, this is the last one I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go until here, till I have two loops on my hook. Bring back the, 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 the face color from over here. So you're gonna gently bring that back here and make sure it's not too tight at the back here. And then pull the white yarn through. Then you're gonna single crochet, seven white. That's my second one. Then three right here. two more. The last one, same as before, go until you have two loops on your hook. Bring back the head color, so you're gonna find where it kind of, you left it off. <laughs> bring it back here, again make sure it's not too tight, and bring it through here. Single crochet until your stitch marker, until the beginning of the round again. Okay, great. I've reached the beginning of my round. Take out my stitch marker, do another round the exact same way. So single crochet, one, play a stitch marker, and then single crochet until I hit my white, changing colors just before that first white single crochet. So right here, Bring the white yarn over and across, oops, like so. Pull that through and go white on top of white or face color on top of face color, wherever. Okay, last white one, same thing. Switch color before you finish your last white stitch to the head color again, there we go and single crochet back to your beginning of round marker. Okay, now your little penguin is starting to maybe look like something. Um, essentially you have three rows of white, one of which is kind of a uh, accent up here. Um, yeah, now what we can do is we can already cut the yarn of the face color. I like to leave like a little bit of room like this and cut the yarn of your head color right here. I put my yarns to the side and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to tie together the two, like the beginning of the end of the face color, just do a simple double knot inside of your penguin here. And then same with the head color, just tie a double knot here, not too tight, but just so those ends are nice and secure, tuck them all in here, and then you don't really need to worry about them anymore. Next, what I like to do now is already place my safety eyes. So with my eyes, I'm gonna go in and just see where it looks cute. So maybe I'm gonna go in right here, pretty far to the outside, and here maybe. But now I'm actually thinking, nah, those are a bit too far apart. I'll place this one here, and maybe this one here. That looks really cute to me. I'm gonna go ahead and place the backings of those on the inside. I like not making them too, like I like using the first um, kind of ridge of the eye, if that makes sense, because otherwise they kind of dig themselves in and then it doesn't look too nice. So just the first one here. And what I like to do now, just as a, for peace of mind, is come in with my safety glue and place a little bit of glue on the cap here so that just kind of sticks there and just so I know 
that that's not going to go anywhere. Not too much, because of course you don't want it coming out at the front. So just gently kind of let that dry for a few seconds. Okay, so now we have cute little eyes on our penguin. The next thing I'm gonna do is place the mouth. So for the mouth, I just have a scrap piece of red yarn. I mean, it doesn't really need to be plushy yarn, but I just have this lying around. I'm gonna thread my needle with that. And then really quickly go in and place the mouth where I want it to be. I like doing it right on the edge of that last stitch, like this. You don't have to tie it yet because you can always change it um, if you don't tie it, but I am happy with that. So I'm gonna do a quick double knot back here. If you do this and you hate it, you can always, of course, cut it out and do it later when you have a bit more of the penguin. But that looks pretty good to me. So there you go, now half a penguin has a face. I think that's pretty cute. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my body color. So in this case, I'm using this light gray color and I'm gonna continue shaping my penguin. Okay, it's the same thing. Wrap my yarn around my fingers as I would. Now here, of course, I don't really have, oops. I don't have like a yarn from this because I already tied it, but I'm gonna work it the same way. So take out my stitch marker, pretend that that's attached somewhere and go in with my first single crochet to secure that yarn and then to also place my stitch marker to mark the beginning of the round. Okay, now I'm gonna single crochet until I hit the second um, dark or head color uh, stitch from the previous round. Um, and then I'm gonna single crochet one into each stitch until I hit here. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six single crochets until I'm here. I'm gonna single crochet into that second to last head color before the face starts. And then I'm gonna start creating the flipper. So from here, I'm gonna do three chains. Okay. And then I'm gonna go back into, not the first chain from the hook, but the second one. So into this one right here. Yarn over, pull that through and create a single crochet into there. And then I'm gonna into the next um, chain, just do a regular slip stitch. So a slip stitch, you're just pulling that loop through both at the same time. And then I'm gonna continue my single crochet right here. And now you can see I've created this cute little flipper like this. Continue single crocheting. Making sure I don't accidentally take the mouth yarn with me. And now you're gonna continue until you finish the face part. Then single crochet into the first head colored stitch from before like this. Again, three chains, single crochet into the second chain from your hook slip stitch into the next chain and then single crochet into your next stitch in that round up until you hit your stitch marker again. Okay, so my next stitch is the one where my stitch marker is in. Now you kind of have a cute little penguin with flippers, but not much more. Um, the next round is a smooth round of single crochet. So I'll show you how to go under the fins. 
mixing my stitch marker into the first one. There we go. So now I'm just placing a singular single crochet into each of the previous stitches of the previous round. And now you can see that I've hit where the fin is, right? So I'm going to lift the fin up like this. And then I'm going to go into kind of the, the single crochets that are below it. So I don't want to increase or decrease anything. But there will still be your regular stitches here. It should be two for the fin. That'd be a bit hard to find. If you can't find it, just take the next best loop that you can find. Just make sure you do two single crochets under the fin um, like this. And then your next one will be the face already anyways. Okay, so same thing for the other fin. I've reached the stitch before the fin. I'm gonna lift the little fin up and place two single crochets underneath it. Or I should say flippers, not fin. I guess penguins have flippers. And then continue your single crochets as per usual up until you hit the beginning of the round again. There you go. Now he's so cute. He has his little flipper standing out. But let's not get distracted by his cuteness. So essentially this was round number seven and eight. You're gonna do two more rounds, just single crocheting all the way around. I'll let you do that so you can pause this video and then I'll meet you once you've done two more rounds of just flat single crochets. I'll meet you there. Okay, so now I have just completed two more rows and I hope that you have too. Um, I'm gonna take out my stitch marker one more time and the next round I'm going to do everything into the back loop only and that means I'm going gonna go into just this one instead of like both loops. I'm only gonna take the back loop. Okay, so into the back loop only we're gonna do a repeat of four single crochets and then a decrease. So my first one right here, placing my stitch marker again. That's my first single crochet. I'll show you how to do the decrease as well. Two, three, Four. and then I'm gonna decrease into the back loop only so the way that works is into the next back loop go as you usually would but instead of yarning over and pulling through now you're gonna hold on to that loop and go into the next back loop as well and then you're gonna yarn over pull through both of those and then with as with a normal single crochet pull yarn over pull through again then you're gonna continue single crocheting into the back loop only four times. Okay, now we're gonna do another one. So into the back loop only, pick up the first loop, pick up the second loop, pull through both, and then yarn over, pull through again. Continue. Four single crochets into the back loop. Three, four, and decrease again. And then you can repeat that the whole way around until you hit the beginning of the round marker again. Okay, and now our cute little penguin is almost done. Um, the next round is going to go into the normal stitches again, so no longer into just the uh, back loop only. And it's going to be a decrease um, all around. So to do a decrease, you're going to, or an invisible decrease, you're going to pick up just the front loop like this. So that's the first one. Go into the next front loop with your hoop. Now you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through to the first two. Yarn over, pull through again. I'm going to place my stitch marker here because that's my first one in the round. 
close a stitch marker and continue that the whole way around. So front loop, front loop for the decrease, pull through both yarn over, pull through. So I'll meet you when you're back at the beginning at your stitch marker. And then we're gonna start stuffing our penguin and then it's almost done. Okay, so now I've finished uh, my round of decreases. Now I'm gonna come in and fill or stuff my penguin. So I have some polyfill here. Then I'm just gonna kind of gently stuff back in here until it's nice and plump. Put more or less, it's kind of personal preference. Okay, so I've now finished um, stuffing the penguin. As you can see, I don't love it like too plump, but I like it when there's a certain firmness to it. Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is cut the yarn that's still hanging off with quite a generous length, not too, too long, and thread that into a needle and I'm gonna finish off. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is, of course, I'm gonna go through this loop because otherwise everything will come undone and that's not what we want. Be sure to take out your stitch marker. And then if you have your own finishing off method, go ahead and use it. But what I like to do is I like to go into every outer loop from the outside to the inside. And then slowly pull that closed. like this. Okay, once you've gone through all, what I do is I just kind of tie it closed, tie it shut like this, and then I go through with the rest of my yarn to just Secure that a little bit and I mean I'm not making this for a child or anything um, Or anyone so for me, I know it's enough to just kind of like cut it here if you're making it for someone who's gonna be throwing it around a lot um, You might want to go through a few extra times just to make sure it's really secured Okay, now I've secured uh, my yarn. He's looking so cute already, but he needs cute little feet as well so the feet are really simple to make. Um, to make them, you take your head color and then do a slip stitch. And you're gonna do four chains. Two, three, four. Go back into the first chain of the four, pull your yarn through and create a slip stitch and then pull your yarn through again, cut it to fasten it off. So here's your first cute little flipper. I'll place this down for now because you need to make two of those. So again, slip stitch, four chains. Oops. Four. Find the first chain, go through there, pull the yarn through both loops and then pull the yarn through again, cut your yarn and fasten off like that. And there's your second flipper, pull the ends. Okay, so now we have these two flippers. All we need to do now is sew them on and then we have a finished penguin. So I just yarn one of the ends of the flippers, usually the longer one, like doesn't really matter, uh, through my needle and then I kind of go with the eye. So wherever the eye is, bring your flipper down and then go in with your sewing needle and sew that on with a few stitches and then do the same thing for the other one. Okay, so now I've sewn on my little flippers or my little feet at the bottom and I have a finished penguin. So there he is, he's so cute. I love these. I think they're so easy to make and just cute little stress balls. Um, yeah, if you want him like less wide and more high, then just add another row of the body and just, yeah, have fun with their colors. I think they're so cute. Look at them. Oh my goodness. 
Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. And yeah, I hope to see you soon. Take care.